Hello my Tetty friends, this is our next tutorial in our series on web scrapping using Python. I'm Scrappy and this is World Web Scrapping. There we go! Hello to everyone and welcome to World Web Scrapping. This is our next tutorial on web scrapping using Python. Today we are going to another website and scrap some data from there, so let's get started. So today we are going to Zillow.com and uh, this is our US based website for home listings. So you can search for rental homes or for sale and all that stuff. So uh, you can find all the listings uh, that are available houses in any area of uh, the United States. So here I have searched for home for rent in Manhattan, New York. So uh, that's what I'm checking right now. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to this uh, page and grab all of uh, these data that is available. So basically we are going to grab the price of the apartment and then the address of the apartment and there are no other information as contact details or anything. We can get that if uh, we go in deep into the individual pages and if we try to grab that. But right now I'm just uh, going to grab all of uh, the listings here on this page. So let's uh, get do it. So uh, look at the listings, all of the listings actually. So this listings has uh, just two prizes here and then this listing um, has just one prize and have some additional information like here, three beds, two baths and a square feet and then again only one prize and again two beds, one bath. So in that way it's uh, difficult because there are different different things they have uh, shown in the same location. So what you can do is uh, you can either try and grab just the first prize for all of uh, the listings. If that's the only thing you need. But if you want to grab all the prizes, you can grab all the prizes, but you will need to clean your data after you have uh, grabbed all of uh, the prizes. So that's uh, what you will have to do. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grab all the prizes and I will put it in uh, Pandas data frame and once you have uh, the data in Pandas data frame you can clean it as per you wish. So that's uh, what you can do. So let's get to the code. So here, so this side is easy to scrap. I said uh, you just need to put the headers and in headers do put uh, user agent and refer. So user agent we always do and refer is something that you need to put. Because the page that we are trying to reach it uh, cannot be reached directly. It has to come from some other page. So it has to come from a page where we search for uh, like Manhattan in New York. So when we search so the referrer should be that page. So that's how it should work. So if we are trying to access the page directly without going from another page out to referrer then the site might block you. So uh, do that and put the referrer that you will find in the headers. So I'm importing my libraries and I'm assigning my header. So let me show you where I have uh, taken the header from. Uh, so I took the header from here, I went to my request and then request headers and from this request headers I have the referrer here. So I just took the referrer here, somewhere here, I have uh, not copied all of it just till here. New York RB, New York, it's okay to search query and it's okay to take just uh, that much out. So it worked with um, that and this is my URL and I'm defining it and then I'm sending a get request as usual and checking the status code. So it should be 200 for my request so to be successful so it's 200 and now I'm creating a beautiful soup object and let's run that and let me show you our beautiful soup object. So let's inspect it a bit and see if we are getting our data as we need. So if we go down further, here you see that we are getting everything. So we have a HRF and the classes and all the span tags and everything. So if we are getting all of uh, these tags, then that means that we are getting data in HTML format and we don't need to use uh, JSON formatting here. So I'm going to grab two 
things price and the address so for price I'm just creating an empty list and as usual and then I'm going to write a for loop so we are uh, where are we getting our data here so if we inspect it so you see we are getting our price details under this UL and then the div tag and class list card heading. So if we go to this div tag and if we go to this class list card heading from there, if we take uh, that UL tag out and from there if we grab the text we will get all of uh, these uh, three prizes actually. If we don't do UL, if we just uh, want to grab the price the first prize what we will do we will uh, do after going to this class we will just do dot li instead of a dot ul we will just do dot li and dot text and we will get the just first prize out so that's uh, what we are doing we are taking the ul out not dl here so instead of even writing ul i don't even need to write ul so once i have a reach here i'm writing for loop for price in bs object dot find all div tag and go to this class list card heading so if i go here price list dot append price after taking price out just do dot text and we will get out get our all of uh, the prizes out now these are the some additional thing that i'm doing here and uh, i will explain you why i'm doing all of uh, this because i need to clean my data as uh, i'm grabbing it so for a while i'll just uh, hash them out and i will just show you this uh, what i'm getting here so what i'm saving is uh, just show me all the prizes that i get so price dot text and if i do that and uh, i just remove everything that i have added here and um, and uh, let me run this what I get is some information like that so all of my prizes are like they get into uh, one string and they are attached like that but I do not want it like that I want them to be separately so that uh, I can see them clearly and then I can do something with uh, that so for that reason I'm doing all of these that using some replace method on the string so first a dot replace that I'm doing is uh, wherever BD is coming coming bd means a bed so why i'm doing that again let me show you so here if you see before four dollars bd is coming so if uh, i replace this bd just uh, by b and a pipe so what will happen is uh, instead of the d will get a pipe so that will separate my this uh, 30 uh, to 70 dollars with these um, 48 86 dollars so it will separate them by using a pipe same way if you see here where two bds are coming so that means too bad right so first what uh, what will happen this uh, bd will be replaced by one b and pipe then what will happen here it will comes as a b pipe s i don't want the s uh, the s also so what i will do is uh, i will replace the pipe as as by pipe so what will be left is a b pipe here so you will see when i run the cell then i'm again replacing o by o pipe why i'm doing this again because i have some studio apartments also and what this studio apartments have is uh, o is coming at the end and let me just change it because there are mm, mo also coming if uh, i just keep oh it will get changed here also i don't want to change that so just change it to io wherever io is coming to replace that by o pipe so it will again separate my studio from these uh, 3270 so that's the reason to do it then again i'm doing a dot stripe and then after doing that i'm doing a dot split on the pipe so all of uh, my um, these prices will be separated by a pipe and when i do dot split by pipe i will do is um, it will create me a list so that's uh, what i'm effectively doing here so let me show you what happens if i do all of uh, this stuff this is uh, what i get my data looks much cleaner than what it uh, was previously right so that's uh, what i'm doing here let's see so 
see the studio apartment is separated from one bad apartment and it is separated from two bad apartment and it is uh, in a list so that is the reason why I had to do all of these because I was getting everything in one single line and it was attached to each other it was not making that much sense so for that reason I did all of these now I will hash it out and I will comment it out and I will just append this data into my list so it will give me a list of lists actually so this price list I have appended all of this data just copied this line and just add it here right dot append so I got all of these data and uh, it is a list of list now after that I'm creating again an empty list to grab the the address grabbing the address is simple it's uh, not that difficult because all of my listings have uh, the address in the same line so if we inspect it so address is under this div tag list card info so from that div tag go to this class list card info from there go to a tag and take the text out and you will get it's uh, that simple so no issue with the uh, with the address tag let us uh, just confirm all the prizes and that we have grabbed once so what we have is uh, first is um, 3736 plus studio apartment then 3271 bad so let's just confirm that so just uh, you see if it's uh, correct that's uh, what we are getting let's see your code from grabbing the address so an empty list writing a full loop again and diff and uh, go to this class and from there just uh, do dot append do go to a tag take the text out do dot stripe and we get our address it's uh, the simple nothing is uh, difficult into that so we have uh, got our address there then what I'm doing is uh, I'm creating a pandas a data frame here and in this pandas data frame what first I'm going to create is uh, differently because my price list is a list of lists so for that reason what I'm doing is uh, first I'm creating a pandas data frame using just my price list and uh, I have uh, given five columns here why I have uh, given five columns because the length of my price list becomes a maximum number for that I'm getting is a five max price that I'm getting is a five actually so where that is let me show you um, just a second so here somewhere so I guess I'm getting four only yesterday when I was creating this code I was getting five prizes so let me just run it with uh, four columns and if we have uh, some issue it will throw an error actually that there are five columns and you have uh, passed just four column names so we will get that kind of an error let me run this cell so it works fine so there we need four column only there are four prizes available then there uh, so this created my pandas data frame but it only contains if I show you what we get here so we get a four prizes prize one prize two prize three prize four so wherever all the prizes are available it will show the prizes where the prizes are not available it will show none right and then you can use uh, your pandas uh, data frame techniques there to clean this out it's uh, very easy to do it's uh, with it with a uh, pandas actually so you can just remove uh, the non values and you can just replace wherever price is uh, not coming say dollar sign is uh, not coming you can replace them with uh, something zero or something whatever you want to do so that's uh, what you can do you can clean it very easily actually using pandas uh, data frame so after that if you see I don't have an address here because I have uh, not added the uh, the address column yet so to at the address column I'm creating another column called address and then I'm assigning it to my list that I have address list and if I run the cell I will get address also added to my pandas data frame so uh, that's how you can do it how you can scrap Zillow so just find out what uh, you need if you need all the prices or just grab the way that I have told and then put it in the pandas data frame and clean it for uh, you do not need all the prices just grab only that first prize and you don't need to do much of uh, cleaning there 
So that is all for today my Tachi friends. If you like the video please like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video tutorial and do not stop visiting our website. Leave your comments below and ask me any question you have. I will be very happy to answer them. Link is given in the description of this video to get code and full material. Stay happy, stay safe, stay Tachi.